Well, welcome to our first episode of Scrape It or Save It. Yay! You know why? Because sometimes in paint pouring, things do not work out. And you can either scrape the canvas or you can try and save it. And we had a real cool save on this one. So let me show you. Here we go. Well, here is our original pour. And it was a pearl pour. This is Artist Loft uh, Flow Acrylic Red that I was using for the base. Now, this is one of the first pearl pours that I've attempted, and I did not have the consistencies right on any of the paint. Uh, too much Floetrol, too much water. Something went wrong, because as you can see, as you know, here come the pearls. It's actually working a little bit, but it isn't quite right, because there would have been a lot more pearls if it was. So now I had all of this paint down here, and I had some extra paint. And I thought, well, you know what? Let's not waste it. Let's just pour over it again, because I've seen people do that, where they poured over the pearl pour twice, and it turned out so nice the second time. So I took our leftover black, some gold, the red, the coral, put it in a different order. And so what we learned was one of those paints was way off, and I'm going to say that it was the black. Maybe it was the red. It was either one, because we have no pearls the second time at all. But what do we have? We have a canvas full of thin paint with black underneath and red underneath and coral and gold on top and everything is mixed. And when we have thin paint, it's a great opportunity to do a Dutch pour. So rather than scraping it, I decided to save it with an attempted Dutch pour. Here we go. I have a little bit of what I call Amsterdam Cell Accelerator that I mixed the other day. And what it is, is just Amsterdam paint one part paint, one part Floetrol, and a ton of water <laughs> until it gets drippy, 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 just like that. So we're going to use that in this with a little bit of gold. I'm going to get some iridescent mixed into this leftover gold. Or some pearl medium. Let's do some pearl medium. I want to get it super duper shiny. Sergeant pearlescent medium is what I'm using. Let's get that super, super shiny. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to pour down the leftover of our reds, our red, our coral. Let's get those on there. And some of this black that's really thin. And our iridescent gold. Awesome. And a bit more black in the middle. And it is going to act like a cell activator. Like in a bloom. Okay. And I'm going to get the hair dryer out and I'm going to blow it straight in the middle. We'll try this one first. If it's not strong enough, we'll get the other one. Here goes. Not strong enough. Not strong enough on the air. Look at that. Oh, what a mess. Okay. And now we'll put on the concentrator and blow it out. Ooh. 
<laughs> Ooh. For something that was really bad a second ago, it is wicked cool looking now. I think so anyways. I don't know if you do, but I sure do. Wow, I like the way that looks. We don't have a pearl pour, but boy, do we have something groovy looking. And I'm going to have to blow on that paint in the middle to break up some of that solid black. Let's do that right now. Just little puffs here and there. So when I do this, eventually that is going to break up. But you are also going to be seeing bare canvas through it. You can see that right here. The paint is really thin and it's blown out everything. And you know what? Is that great? No. But you can always fix that later after it's dry and you know touch it up with a little extra paint maybe some iridescent medium there's all kinds of things that you can do to improve that part of the situation or I can just pick up some paint and add it I haven't decided right now I'm still seeing what will happen with those puffs of air if we're gonna get any bit more any more movement in there of the paint separating into cells. It's really cool. Like, I love this effect. I think these colors are amazing. I'm seeing if I can get some of it to go down here, but it's just the way it's going to be. We are not going to get this effect over here. It's just going to be an upward version. That's something else. I wish there was some of that there and I'm tempted to just pick up little bit that has dripped off and add it and you know what I will I'm gonna add that color in here and blow it out with the straw I think and hopefully it'll work terrible. It's actually not bad. I think adding that was the right thing. smaller straw. Better, definitely better. Ooh, a little something just fell in there.
probably some dried paint off the straw. Okay. So are we going to leave it or are we going to add some paint where it's bare? I think I'm going to add. I think I'm just going to pick up and add some of the dark red. Or maybe I'll mix some dark red together with a little bit of this gold and add that in. Ooh, that'll look good. All right, let's leave that to dry as soon as I touch up one more dot. And one right there. All right. Woo, my goodness gracious. Let's torch that. That was some work. That was a little bit epic. I have to admit, that was a little bit epic. We don't have a pearl pour, but we have a pretty wicked cool looking pour. <laughs> that I love. Oh my gosh. Okay. We'll be back and show you the dried one in just a second. Well, all the best intentions in the world cannot get technology to work. I tried and tried to get a recording of this picture because I wanted to show you all the little details that were beautiful close up. And look what happens to the color every time you try and zoom in. And now the color looks right. As soon as I get close, it starts looking cloudy and foggy and weird. And that isn't what the painting looks like in real life. It looks more like it looks right now. It's bright and it's red and those metallic shimmer and now everything looks weird. So sorry, the best shot you're going to get is this one right now. And this is what it really looks like close up. It looks awesome and it's going to look even better when it's varnished. I'm happy with it. Thank you for watching our episode of Scrape It or Save It. And remember, don't scrape your paintings. Save them if you can. And uh, go paint something beautiful. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.